I am not sure that I am worthy of this splendid citation. But uh, I wish to say also that I thank you from the depth of my heart. George Washington Carver began life as a slave, but through the power of education became a botanist, a professor, an inventor, and an environmentalist. So when the very first Waldorf High School in the nation opened in Sacramento, the Carver name was a perfect fit. So we're really proud of the name George Washington Carver. Our school really embodies his life and work. Our theme here at Carver is social and environmental justice. So all of our courses, English, history, physics, environmental science, biology, even math, we try and find angles that address social and environmental issues here uh, within our community. Here at George Washington Carver, like many other Waldorf schools, main lesson is a big part of the curriculum they teach here. The Waldorf education at Carver combines intellectual, practical, and artistic learning in order to develop critical reasoning. Uh, transforming your thinking with your imagination and creativity actually leads to some of the most rigorous forms of thinking because you really have to understand the content, the concepts, and show those in your own ways. Um, and this is really at the very heart of the new Common Core Standards here in California, critical thinking. How did I arrive at that answer? Write the answer to your uh, questions right here on the space beside me. We are trying to engage the world and fix it. They're actually doing presentations behind me about how they will make a car that is sustainable for our environment. However, we're using a CNG fuel source, which is not only a renewable fuel source, it's also incredibly efficient as a fuel source. And that's the beauty of a rigorous college prep curriculum integrated with the arts. It creatively compels students to be analytical, collaborative, and engaged lifelong learners. We all have to take art class freshman year, and we all have to take four years of science, but they kind of overlap each other. So in science class, we would do a lot of drawing, but I think it helps the information kind of sink in more. In my career, I think I've been able to push students a lot harder um, to do more things than um, I would have, say, at a different school that I had been teaching at. And I think it's because there is that ability to, um, to visualize things, um, to see how things work together. I don't know, there's something about the climate where the students are wanting to do their best. Carver High School has received a myriad of awards and recognitions, but one thing that sets this charter apart, within Sac City's huge and robust public school system, Carver feels like a private education. Um, so it's smaller, which means we all have a personal uh, connection with each other. Uh, as a teacher, I know everybody. I know everybody by name. Um, apart from the arts and science that we do, we also have a great school culture. So it's a regular four-stroke engine, so why is this so special? These kids are kids who stand up for themselves, who think for themselves, and they, they're just good people. That, they know exactly what they want in life. I feel like this school is for anybody and everybody. No matter where you're at in life, no matter who you are or what you identify as or who, whoever you may be, there's a nice special spot for you at this school, no matter where you're from. In the safe, nurturing environment of George Washington Carver High School, one question prevails. How will you engage the world? When our students um, feel self-actualized, when they feel important, when they believe that their ideas and their initiatives are seen and heard and appreciated. Um, this is very, the very heart of Waldorf education, creating young people who um, have a voice and have a sense of purpose.